Hey, what's going on everybody? This is James Burson with another video for POC, POC Point of Conversation. And today's POC, POC Point of Conversation is part two uh, for the, uh, the series. And this is about stirring up the gift. And today we're going to be coming to you from 2 Timothy 1, 6. Now, if you haven't already, check out the, the other video, the pre previous one on stir, stirring up the gifts. Um, didn't make a video yesterday due to the fact that, uh, there was some work changes. So I ended up going into work a little early, so I wasn't able to do my normal routine. So I'm making one today. So for you guys that are still with me and, um, on top of it, thank you guys for all your support. Without further ado, let's get into it. So now, 2 Timothy 1, 6 says, Therefore, I put thee in, I put thee in remembrance that thou stir up the gift of God, which is in thee by the putting on of hands. Now, there's a, actually a lot more to that scripture because the putting by the putting on of hands, hands part, got to be careful with that part because not everybody is anointed to put hands on you and help you stir up the gifts. So breaking this down into how this relates to a uh, business a aspect and life aspect and pushing yourself and propelling yourself forward is those people that are around you, those people are that within that circle, you can have prayer with those people who are within that circle and they can lay hands and, and put hands and help stir up the gifts, but not just anybody because everybody doesn't have your best interest. And when it says put the remember, that means that those things that help you get to where you're trying to go, those memories, like I was speaking about in the in the previous videos, those things that are honest, those things that are pure, keep those things in remembrance. Now, the putting on of hands, you need to have a tight circle if you're just gonna to have somebody lay hands and pray pray with you and pray for you to help stir up the gifts, because people trans transfer spirits all the time and spiritual warfare is going on all the time proximity warfare all all the time all the time so you have to be careful of letting people um just lay hands on you and and pray for you and so stirring up those those gifts stirring up the gift of god that is in you the scripture is telling you that gift is already in you that's the God in you. That's what it's saying. Stir up the God that's in you. The thing that you know that is pushing you to do what you're doing in your life, that's pushing you to run that business, that's pushing you to buy that house, stir up that gift because you're going to you're going to need it. And you're going to need those people that are, are around you that are a part of that tight circle that you have. You're going to need them sometimes. Join hands in, 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 in prayer. And, re and really, you know, hone in and focus on what what the goal is. Focus on the God that is in you so that way you can stay on track with what it is that you're trying to do. That's what it is. And that's what it means to stir up those gifts. You have to put focus, time, and attention on the God that is in you and isolate the, the, the things of the world. Because at times life gets frustrating and it will wear you out and it will wear you down. So you need to stir up the gift of God that, that is in you. You need those people that are close to be able to pray for you and, and put hands and help with that. Those are your resources. Though That's how you're going to get it done. You're not going to get anywhere alone. You need people. People are your greatest resource. So have people around you that you can trust to pray with you and pray for you and lay hands and help stir up those gifts so that way you can continue to do what God called you to do. Walking worthy of that, that vocation, understanding and knowing, stirring up the gifts, understanding that those memories along the way that built that foundation, and having people in your corner that can lay hands and that can pray with you and pray for you is all key. Just remember that. Take some time. Watch this video. Understand it. Keep your circle tight. Watch each other. Pray for one another and stay tuned for the next series. That's all for today, folks. This is James Burson with another video for Pac Over and Out. Shalom, everybody.